your first time here, my name is Gunde Anukonko. And on this channel, I'm sharing my journey with you guys. And I'm hoping that you pick a few things that will inspire you to go turn the world around you the right side up. So in today's video, guys, I'm taking you guys along with me to the place where I do my immunization for my son. Uh, since, I think since February, we haven't been able to go there because of the, I mean, the pandemic. So today, uh, we're taking him there for the first time in a while. And I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'm just trying to show how life after the outbreak in China still looks like. So if you really would like to learn that, if you like this kind of content, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you hit the like button, share this video with someone, and I will see you guys pretty soon. We are on our way to the health center now and where like my son gets his shots <sighs> we were almost there it's quite close to my house but uh, it's pretty close even though we're a bit late but it's pretty close so this is the hospital is it a hospital like the health center where we will normally get the immunization thing here? Here. <laughs> yes, left. Sure. <laughs> This is the waiting area. Usually, people used to be like filled up in this place, but see, see, we don't have anybody here. What is it? Here. Ha 对，如果六月二十九号可以过来，就直接来就行。如果来不了，往后延了，再打电话约时间啊。好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好
。是啊。知道哈。啊、呃，可以，我看看，怎么样？啊，好好。Measles, OK， 我知道，我知道。英英声有英文哈、啊。对。哎，好美呀、啊、<笑> ！Beautiful <笑>。<笑>没有，你不给他整醒吗？是这样吗？是。啊，你们你们回国了吗？过年？啊，他听不懂。哎呀。哎呀，什么事儿呢 ？Don't cry, OK。Sorry, sorry, 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 不回家，我们在在这头不？对对。你是哪个国家的？尼日利亚。啊，哎，对，说过好像是。看看，好吗？不出血了，那我跟你玩会儿来，玩会儿行吗？抱抱吗？还行吧。对，哎呀，哎，你跟我玩吧。Hey, Buku, don't cry. Yeah. <laughs> so we're supposed to wait for like thirty minutes before we leave the place, and yeah, that's what we're doing. You didn't cry. You didn't cry. Did you cry? <laughs> yeah, you didn't cry so long. Okay. So after thirty minutes, then we can go home and come back like in a month's time. For something else, and that's pretty much how immunization goes in China. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is the place they have like a play area. As we wait, Titi, <laughs> Titi, come, come, come now. What are you waiting for? <laughs> ah. Today there's nobody here. Here is usually filled with people. <laughs> are you crying or are you laughing? Are you crying or are you laughing? Huh? So, let me tell you guys how uh, immunization works in China. So after we had our baby, right? After we had ZT, uh, we started. After, I think it was three months later, we were supposed to start going for the immunization thing and all of that. And the first time we went, we were asked to pay like seven hundred RMB, guys. Seven hundred RMB. <laughs> And we did actually, but, but we were just really wondering like, isn't this vaccination thing free in Nigeria? Why do we have to pay money here? But anyways, we did. And the next time we, 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 the next vaccination shot he had, they asked us to pay 300. <laughs> you guys, that's when we were like, okay, let's better call a, a friend. One of our friends here, he's had like two kids, his, um, his, his family, they've had like two kids in China. So that's when we, so we, and we, we decided to call them. And when we did, they told us that the next time we're going for the next shot, that we should ask them, that we should tell them that we want the free vaccinations. I'm like, you mean there are free ones? <laughs> 
Is it because we are foreigners and they just assume that we have money? Why didn't they just give us the free ones? And yeah, that was how we were able to solve that. We 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 pay. We ask them the next time for the free vaccines, and we've been getting free vaccines since then. So if you're having a baby here, or if you know a mom here, please let them know. Okay. So life is pretty much back to normal, as you can see from this video. But the thing is that masks, guys, will continue to wear masks i think we'll probably still be wearing masks till like 2022 or something but apart from just the masks the only other thing is that there's always temperature checks everywhere we go and there's a little bit of restrictions like how they ask my husband not to come with me into the hospital so that's pretty much it and students are back to school in china students are back to school especially the older students but for the kids like as you can see there are a lot of kids and babies in my compound <laughs> it's because the kids are not yet back to school if you're in china i hear opportunities are opening up a lot for work and for businesses so if you're in china let me know let us know in the comment section how is it in your city is it true that there are a lot of opportunities opening up right now let us know in the comment section below I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure to check out my other vlogs. I'll leave the link here. Check out my other videos. I create content around life in China, YouTube tips, and all that good stuff. So make sure to check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.